Let's get started. This is a fun one. Well, let's see what's in store for us today. Always interesting. Let's turn the power off at the breaker now, see what we have. Power has to be off at this point at the breaker and we're gonna just test this out. Now, before you go any further, I have a tip for you. Grab your phone and take a couple photos of your dimmer switch and your electrical box. That's gonna come in handy as a point of reference before we go on to the next step. It's a safety. Now, before I go any further, you can see at the back of the box, I have a neutral wire. I'm just gonna pull this off to the side. Your white wire is typically your neutral wire. We'll get to that in a second. We'll just leave that over here. So with our power turned off, it is now safe to remove your wire nuts. There we go. And now I'm just gonna get my screwdriver and disconnect the ground at the back. Okay, so at this point, I just put some wire nuts on everything so it's nicely protected. I get a lot of questions. INS, this is an insulated screwdriver. I'm just going to remove that and then tighten this back up. Okay, you see this screw right here and the copper wire? All of our wires are grounded right here at the back of our electrical box. Let's make sense of line versus load. Got our power on now, wire nuts for protection. I'm using my voltage tester and I'm hearing no beeping, except, what's that? That beeping is telling me this is live, this is hot, this has electricity running through it from our breaker, from our panel, okay? So this right here is our line wire. What does that mean? Let's break it down. So there are two words you need to know. At the back of your dimmer, you're gonna see the word line right here and load. So what's the difference? Here's a trick that I use. It might be a little tricky to see, but right there is your line and that one says load. So line, you can't spell line without the word in. That's the power coming in to your dimmer switch from your electrical panel. Load, you can't spell load without an O. That's the power going out of your dimmer out to our light fixture. Hopefully that helps you out. So because I don't have a ground wire here, I've just made my own with an extra piece of wire and I've taken out my ground screw from the back of the box and I'm gonna install it now so that the dimmer will be grounded. And again, I'm using my insulated screwdriver to do this. My ground needs to be at least six inches. So to wire our dimmer, we're gonna start with our ground wire here, the green one. I'm gonna trim this back, it's way too much copper. I'm just gonna use my linesman pliers to gauge how much I'm gonna cut off. And that looks good. And then I'm gonna take a lever connector. If you have wire nuts, I'll just show you what you can do, but this is what I do for all my lighting now close a clamp. So taking a look at your dimmer, we're gonna take the green wire and insert it into our lever connector all the way and clamp it. Okay, that's one connection. Now if you have wire nuts at home and you want to reuse them, we're gonna next, we'll do the wire nut here on our neutrals. Okay, see that? That's actually been twisted and typically good electricians, you see that, how that's nicely twisted? That's how we do it here. So if you have this situation, you can lead with this by about a quarter of an inch, or you can twist that as well around with your linesman if you wish. But we do want it to lead. So this will lead a little bit. Put that tightly on. The best electricians when they use wire nuts, by the way, they'll do the pre-twisting. Okay, and then that's secure. If we take a look at the screw terminals here on the side, I'm gonna start with my load wire, which is the red screw terminal, and that is this, this wire here. I'm just gonna insert it into the side behind. That is what we're looking for behind this little clamp, and we want all the insulation covered. Now, if you were to install it like that, that would be incorrect. See, we do not want to have any exposed copper wire there. So push it in and that's what we're looking for. And then we'll just secure that up. So for my black wire, I'm gonna do the same. And I, you can see this is the line screw terminal, the black screw. And I actually have two wires going in. 
you guys will most likely just have one wire here. So the sticker was removed off of this wire. You're just gonna insert it now and screw it in to the screw terminal and that will make a safe connection. And then we'll just tighten it so it doesn't move on us. Nice and secure. So these dimmer switches are quite wide and I have a metal box. So I'm just gonna protect the screw terminals here on the side. So I'll start at the top and I'm just gonna do this. And it's just cause the dimmer is big and I have a metal box. And as I push everything in, I'm gonna be super careful. We always are super careful, but this is rated for this purpose. Now I have used a dimmer like this for three years. I'm gonna give you my review coming up because there is something critical you should know before you install this. Okay, now we're gonna push that in, screw it in. So I did level this up. Check for a level before you do this too. Give that a push. So you can add the Casa Smart app from the App Store. This is good if you have Apple or Android and it works with Alexa and Google Home. So you go smart switches, we wanna add a smart switch. What are we doing? We're doing this smart dimmers here on Wi-Fi. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gone to settings and I'm syncing my app, my Casa Home app with my dimmer. Now a word of caution anytime you do something like this, check that you have at least three bars on your phone, you know, in the right corner, because that will tell you you have a good, strong Wi-Fi signal. Now, if you only have two bars on your phone, you're gonna have to fix your Wi-Fi signal because it's not going to work with this app. So be sure to check that out. Now, this is a single pole dimmer, meaning it's one dimmer operating one light. If you have two switches and one light or two lights, on those two switches, like a stairway or a hallway, you're gonna need a three pole dimmer. I will link to everything I'm using in the description. It's important to know that everything on this channel I purchase and I test out to make sure I like it. So what I like about this dimmer is it's very user friendly, it's very functional, and really the biggest consideration is that this is a really well reviewed product. I like that, but most importantly, it's affordable. So if you're on a budget and you want smart home technology, which is something a lot of people want, but you don't wanna spend a lot, that's why I went with this one, because of course there's another brand that's really top shelf, but it's more expensive. Please, can I ask a favor of you? Subscribe and hit the bell if you found this content valuable. That helps our channel to get better so that we can make better videos for you. I'll see you in the next one and thank you so much.